Hi guys, I'm coming to you with a little bit of a cheeky video. I am upstairs and in the process of editing Hugs and Drugs and that will be coming to you later on this evening. But the news that has been announced on International Women's Day, exactly six months after the Queen's passing, Harry and Meghan have finally got their daughter Lilibet Diana christened. But the actual news was released by their spokesperson from Archwell, Princess Lilibet Diana. Now it was it was said that Harry and Meghan were going to forgo titles because they wanted their children to have a normal life as possible, if you remember. Well, funnily enough, they have changed their minds. It's said that the couple invited the King, Queen Camilla, William and Catherine over for the children's christening, or sorry, Lily's christening, that was done by the Archbishop of LA, but it's apparently just the Bishop of LA. I can imagine that poor Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, is crying into his chalice being given that he wasn't allowed to uh, to give the christening for the second royal coming child. Now, I'm not being mean about the children. The children are always staying off limits. What I'm calling out here is the absolute hypocrisy of Harry and Meghan that have done nothing but trash the racist institute. Remember, Harry said, I don't want an institute, I want a family. Omid Scobie's tweet has not aged well where he said that the couple, as expected, were for going titles because they want their children to have a normal life as possible. Remember Harry, he came over and when the last time he did speak to King Charles, he said he wanted to wait till the children were older. So why suddenly this big turn of events, you know, the racist, colonialist institute, the misogynistic, archaic, awful family that caused no end of stress and trauma to Harry. You know, Harry's trauma from his childhood, being born into that family, and now they've given their children titles. I believe that they have done it because they know that they have overstepped the mark with King Charles. Frogmore being taken from them has absolutely proved this. And I believe that Harry and Meghan were panicking because they've then gone, right, OK, let's launch the fact that the children are now going to be known as Prince and Princess. Because now, if King Charles does not give them that, they can scream blue murder. They can scream racism, the unfairness. He's cruelly punishing us through our children. Evil King Charles, evil Queen Camilla. You get the drift. So what they've done, and I believe that they have done it they have as I said they've, they've played a bit of a blinder they've gone oh no the children are absolutely prince and princess they never bothered with Archie did they bless him I mean they haven't bothered with him but you know this is the child it is Lilibet Diana to be fair they should have just called her princess Diana Again, as I said, keep the comments clean when it does come to the children. This is purely calling out the absolute hypocrisy of Harry and Meghan, who uh, can't really take the moral high ground when they're next trashing all of the colonialism and links to the Empire 2.0 when it comes to the royal family. Their fan base have long called for the king and the monarchy to be abolished. Well, the children aren't going to be called a prince and princess if you abolish the monarchy. They are doing this so they can have have links to the royal family forever. They are doing this because they have received so much backlash. They are doing this because of South Park. They are losing the PR battle. They are also doing this, I believe Meghan has instructed this, because she is absolutely insane with jealousy that Catherine is the Princess of Wales. And Meghan, who is never going to be a Princess Meghan, is now the mother officially of a Prince and Princess. It's been said that the titles will only be used in formal engagements, but they're American citizens. Is that nursery? Is that when they go to high school? And the fact that they think that Meghan is not going to merch these titles, to market these titles, and to let everyone know that she is the mother of a prince and princess. Come on, this is the same woman that if a magazine article comes out and they don't call her by her full title, she throws a tantrum, contacts the magazine, they then we have to reissue the tweets or the stories with her correct full title in there. She's got a monogrammed front doormat. She's got monogrammed clothing carriers when they go away and do events for Netflix. If anyone thinks that Meghan is not going to market and use her children's titles, I honestly, I've got a bridge to sell you. 
Charles is now stuck between a rock and a hard place when it comes to these titles. He has no choice, does he? Because if he now turns around and says, no, I am reducing the, the size of the royal family, much like what the Queen of Denmark did, Queen Margaretha, she has played it absolutely perfectly. There is nothing wrong in that. But Charles, I believe, has acted too slowly. I think Harry and Meghan are beginning to panic. And this was a way of them quickly getting in this last cash grab that they could it's sad that I I think this is going to cause a lot of controversy. As I said, I hope people don't actually lay into their children because the children are always innocent in all of this. But another reason why many people find this time is suspicious as well is it does seem that Meghan is at a point where she's letting Harry hang himself on a public stage. So with Harry and potentially, I'm just saying, potentially a divorce in the future, Meghan's going to get a lot more given to her being the mother of a prince and a princess than what she would do if the children didn't have royal titles. So again, is Meghan behind this? Is Harry behind this? Are they both behind this? There is always something going on with that couple and they always manage to time it when Catherine has an event. So we're going to end the video on a palate cleanser and that is the Princess of Wales who today was visiting Salisbury Plain and visiting the 1st Battalion of the Irish Guards since she became the Colonel in December. Now, Catherine was there, as you can see, beautiful pictures of Catherine in the snow because we had snow in the south of England today. I woke up to it. It's now gone because that's how quickly it lasts here. A little bit of rain and poof. But Catherine, this was her first military position that she has been given. So it is an important day. And I think the palace might have some moles or someone that is feeding the royal rotor. Because as I said, this christening happened on Friday and it just magically gets released the day that Catherine has her first big event as the Princess of Wales and the Colonel of the Irish Guards. So that's it for me. I better get back on upstairs and get you that second video. So I'll see you soon. Bye.